This snowman cake is a really fun way to decorate your Christmas cake and it uses two different types of sponge so it should be ideal for the whole family. So I've already made the two types of cake that I need to assemble this cake. I've made one of my traditional Christmas cakes and I've also made a cinnamon sponge which is going to make the top layer of our cake. I've baked one in a little mini muffin tin to create almost like a hat shape and the other one is in an 11 centimetre tin and the recipe for both of these cakes is below. We're going to start by icing our two cinnamon sponges. I'm going to place them onto a board and I've made up a rum buttercream by mixing together unsalted butter, icing sugar and a little bit of rum. If you don't like rum, you can just use milk, especially if you're making it for kids. I'm just going to use a palette knife to apply a thin layer of the buttercream all over the cake, and this is going to help our fondant stick a bit later on. It doesn't have to be really neat because you're not going to see it once it's covered in the icing. Make sure you get the sides as well as the top. So I've covered my 11 centimetre cake with buttercream, and now I'm going to decorate the cake that I made in a mini muffin tin with a little bit more of the buttercream, just to ensure that that fondant will stick. Once you've roughly covered both of them with buttercream, we're going to pop these into the fridge just until we need them. So I'm going to set the buttercream to one side because we'll use a little bit of that later. But for now, we're going to get on with decorating our big fruit cake. So I'm going to take my cake and turn it upside down onto the board that I'm going to decorate it on. I always use the flat side from the underneath as my top because it's much flatter than the bottom will be. And then I'm going to roll out a layer of marzipan. So you want to lightly dust your surface with a bit of icing sugar to stop it from sticking. Put a little bit of icing sugar onto the rolling pin and then you want to roll out your marzipan until you get a circle which is just larger than the whole cake. You can always check that it's large enough by lifting up your cake and just checking that the marzipan will cover all the edges of it. I'm going to place that back onto the board. I've heated up some sieved apricot jam. I'm just going to brush all over the cake with the apricot jam. It's just going to be the glue that sticks the marzipan on. When you've got a coating that covers the whole cake really nicely, you want to lift up your marzipan. I find it easiest to roll it over the rolling pin. Then you just want to lay it over your cake, like so. And you want to pull it out at the sides, push it in, just use your hand to guide it, and just smooth it over. And then work your way around the cake, sticking on that marzipan, Make sure it's really well stuck all over the cake. And then once you're happy with the way that it's stuck, take a sharp knife and just trim all the way around the edge of the cake, removing the excess marzipan. So the next thing we're going to roll out is the fondant. This is going to cover our cake and give it that lovely white snowy appearance. And just like before, dust the surface with a little bit of icing sugar and a little bit onto the rolling pin too. Then we're going to lay a slab of icing out and roll it until it's just bigger than our marzipan cake. This can be a bit stickier than marzipan, so make sure that you turn it all the time to stop it from sticking to your work surface. And once you've rolled your icing out into something which is larger than the cake, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So fold the fondant over the rolling pin. This time we're going to bring the cake over. We're going to brush it with a little bit more of that apricot jam. We're going to roll our fondant over the top of the cake. Use the palm of your hand to smooth that down. Then we're going to do exactly what we did last time. Pull out the fondant, push it in using a cupped hand to get that lovely smoothness. And just do the same all the way around the cake. And once you're happy with how smooth the icing is, take the sharp knife and trim off excess fondant from around the edge of the cake. And just smooth it down with your fingers then I always find this is the best point to transfer the cake onto your serving plate. Then just use a knife or a cake lifter to carefully lift up your cake and transfer it onto the serving plate. So the cinnamon cakes that we coated with buttercream should be ready to ice now. And now I'm going to roll out some white fondant to cover the head of the snowman. So I'm going to roll that out move that one out of the way for the moment and we're going to lay this large piece of fondant over the top of our buttercreamed cake. Smooth it onto the edges, it's a little bit easier on a smaller cake. Smooth over the top, just make sure it's really well stuck on there. And then use a knife to trim off the excess fondant. And then once you're happy with the smoothness of the icing, you just want to lift up the cake. 
apply a small amount of your buttercream to the bottom to help it stick on and then carefully lay that on right at the top edge of your circle. And just press it down gently to help them fuse together. We're going to cover our snowman's hat in a black fondant. You can colour white fondant using food colouring or you can buy it ready coloured, but I often find ready coloured is a little bit easier to work with. Just put a little bit of icing sugar down, you don't want too much. Just going to use a little bit of our fondant. So we're just going to roll that out until it's nice and thin. If you've got any white bits on it, just use your finger to kind of rub them in. They should disappear into the fondant. Then take your small hat and lay the piece of fondant over the top. And we're just going to apply that on. I love the way that the muffin basically resembles a hat already, so there's not too much work you have to do with the fondant. So I'm just going to slice off the excess. And you should have a perfect little snowman's hat all ready to go. Then we're just going to apply a tiny bit of buttercream onto the base of our hat. And this will get stuck just at the top of his head, slightly to one side. So the next thing we're going to make for our snowman is the scarf. So I've got some red fondant icing. I'm going to roll this out into a long, thin strip. Once you've rolled out the icing nice and long and thin, just want to trim off any of the messier edges using a knife. and then slice the scarf into two. I find it easiest to do it in two parts. So for the first, the shorter piece, use your knife to cut small tassels into one end so it looks like a proper scarf blowing in the wind. And then we're going to apply this just by applying a tiny bit of water onto the back so it'll just help it to stick. Then you want to start at the back of the snowman's head Wind it around, tucking it underneath at the back, bring it down to the front and then use the other part of the scarf, a slightly shorter piece and do exactly the same thing. A little bit of water along the back and then stick that on so that the scarf ends just overlap at the front. Now the next thing we're going to do is give our snowman some eyes and some buttons. I'm going to use the black fondant, just slice a few similar sized pieces and roll them into balls for the buttons. Apply a tiny amount of water and stick them onto the tummy of the snowman. So to make the eyes, I make a ball and then slice it in half and place onto the snowman's face. I don't stick these on straight away so you can make sure you're happy with his expression. And the final thing we need to make is the carrot nose. So I've got some orange fondant and I want to shape it into a cone shape roll it between your fingers and then once you've made a carrot shape that you're happy with take the back of the knife and use it just to make little cuts across the carrot to make it look a little bit more authentic and when you're happy with the carrot just want to place it onto the face and then you're good to go this is a really fun way to decorate your cake this christmas so why not give it a go click the subscribe button for loads more recipes